Hey mom and dad, is it bad that there is a lot of smoke coming out of that car? Son, see the ocean over there? That's where most of the smoke ends up. That's carbon dioxide. How does it go into the ocean? That doesn't seem good for the sea animals. You're right, Billy. It isn't good for them. You see, the carbon dioxide in the smoke goes over the ocean and reacts with the water. Let me give it to you straight. The seawater and the carbon dioxide react to form carbonic acid. This affects the ocean ecosystem in several ways. Remember you learned about pH from your older brother in college? Yeah, but I only know that the lower the pH, the more acidic something is. Yes, the addition of carbonic acid in the ocean lowers the pH of the seawater by as much as 3 tenths on the pH scale. This process is known as ocean acidification. The increase in carbonic acid levels and decrease in pH harms organisms that produce calcium carbonate shells, or skeletons, like snails, clams, and other shellfish. Calcium carbonate dissolves when in contact with carbonic acid. But the poor shellfish will lose their shells. Unfortunately, you're right. Coral has also been affected by ocean acidification. The increasing acidity is preventing the reef building corals from producing their skeletons. This could impact the 1 million species that depend on coral reef habitats. Oh no, this is a big problem. Oh yeah, it's not only cars that are doing this though. Smoke from factories, other means of transportation, and the use of electricity emit carbon dioxide and are slowly hurting the ocean ecosystem. What can we do to fix this problem? That's where we come in, Billy. There are plenty of ways to help stop this problem. First of all, we can decrease the amount of carbon dioxide coming from cars by carpooling and by using hybrid cars. Good thing we have a hybrid car. I can tell my friends to carpool with us on the way to soccer practice. Great idea, Billy! We should also make sure that we don't have any leaky faucets and that we don't leave any chargers in the walls for a long time. Even reducing, reusing, and recycling plastic can help make a difference. That's because our use of energy in our own house emits carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. By doing these simple things, we help stop ocean acidification one step at a time. Wow, I never knew all of those things could harm marine life. Billy, everybody in this world is connected with its waters. We are all one. We need the ocean and the ocean needs us. Now that you know about this problem, spread the word. We need the help of everyone on this planet to make a difference.